What's going on guys, Bustle 6 here, back to another video, and today I'm here to do my all out predictions. Oh boy, this is going to be a long one. Four pre-show matches, 11 main show matches, 15 matches. That's more than Clash of the Castle and Worlds Collide combined. Jesus Christ. I'll watch the show, but fuck, that's going to take long. That's going to take a while. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below. There should be some good matches, but I'm going to be honest, folks. This show is fucking snake bit. Completely snake bit. They're throwing everything at the wall and see, see what sticks. And my God, this is not going to be... If this turns out to be a good card, I'll eat my crow. But most of well, half of these matches feel like they belong on TV in all honesty. But anyways, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about the show? We start off with Tomohiro Ishii versus Eddie Kingston on the pre-show. Uh, let's see, Tomohiro is doing actually good uh, because he did suffer a knee injury a couple months back because he wasn't at Forbidden Door. The original plan was going to be uh, Sammy Guevara versus Eddie Kingston, but due to a promo that uh, Sammy did a couple weeks ago on Eddie that led to an altercation where Eddie got fat shamed and he lost his shit about it. And Eddie's even been, he's been a hothead. And a lot of people have been slamming, you know, Sammy on Twitter and all that stuff, giving him shit for it. And Eddie kind of defended him. They met backstage, they apologized, and I guess everything smoothed over. Even though there's rumors going around that Sammy is not fun to work with, I can't imagine why. So, Eddie got suspended, but his suspension got lifted after the apology. And we get this match. Should be a fun, hard-hitting match. I'm going to have uh, Kingston go over because... Ishii is kind of starting to wind down his career because Father Time is undefeated no matter how long you want to go for. But it should be a fun, hard-hitting match, and I love seeing Ishii in the ring. Then we get Pac versus Skip Sabian for the all the Championship. You know the title that's been fucking all ever since it got invented. Look, I understand that Pac's been going around the world defending it and defending it on Dark and Dark Elevation. Who, who gives a shit about this championship? And Kip is a great athlete. I just don't care about this gimmick. The match should be fine. I think Pac's going to win, but it's a few I don't care about. Then we go Hook versus uh, Andrew L. Parker for the FTW Championship. I think Hook is going to win. I don't... Look, I... Understand that Matt Menard and Angela Parker, they're actually getting screen time and getting featured, but they are featured like total idiots with this whole Jericho Appreciation Society bullshit. I, uh, Hook's going over. I don't see Parker winning. Um, give it two minutes because Hook is still green, but they've been featuring him prominently in very short matches. So keep it short, sweet, and to the point. And then for the final pre-show match, we get more Jericho Appreciation Society on our show because that's what we fucking needed. We have uh, Ty Mello, who was Ty Conte, but she got married. And Sammy Guevara versus Ruby, Ruby, Ruby Soho and Ortiz for the AAA World Mixed Tag Team Championship. That's an actual thing. Uh, these two have had matches on uh, Rampage. Ty and Sammy winning because that's what that's exactly what we want to see. Um, yeah, it'll be a match I don't care about despite Ruby and Ortiz being talented. Sammy's talented. He's just annoying as fuck to see on television. And he's not really the well like backstage. Again, I don't know. I can see why. Anyways, let's go into the main show. We have Lionheart Chris Jericho versus American Dragon Brian Danielson. They tried to make this interesting... Is Brian the Magician? That's all I gotta say. I credit Jericho for being in shape, but he needs to really shut his mouth. He really does because he's been taking shots at WWE when he has no room to talk. Well, to be fair, NXT does suck, but you say that your boss makes more money. That's fucking hilarious. The dude that nearly lost to Marco stunt of all people numerous times. It's talking shit about WWE, and yet he says his boss makes more money when Tony Khan doesn't know what the fuck he's doing half the time. I'm going to have Davidson go over because Jericho doesn't need a win in 2022. Yeah. And then uh, Garcia is going to cost um, Jericho the match. 
Then for the Fatal Four Way, uh, Fatal Four Way for the Interim Women's Championship because Thunder Rosa suffered a back injury. We have Tony Storm versus Britt Baker versus Jamie Hayter versus Hikaru Shida. Thickness everywhere. Please give it to Tony. We don't need Britt Baker to be the champion again because she had a great run, but she doesn't need to be in the title picture anymore. Honestly, you should have get you should have put Nyla in this match. In all honesty, I understand why because Hater and Baker, but honestly, Nyla would have fit better because they have a, it feels like they haven't given a fuck about her. Who Carl's probably gonna take the pin because she's the odd woman out in this match, but I give it to Tony. If Tony's winning, then I'm pretty sure that uh. Um, haters taking the pin, but if Carl's taking the pin, it's most likely going to be Brett. So I'm hoping they give it to Tony because Tony deserved it. She worked her ass off. Then we get Darby Sting and Miro versus House of Black, Malachi, Brody, and Buddy. There's been rumors going around that apparently Malachi wanted to leave, but he got denied because he's been suffering from personal issues and spiritual spiritual issues. If true, then I hope Malachi's in a better place. I hope he gets the um, time off that he needs. And in all honesty, it's kind of a shitty thing to do. If he wanted some time off, they would have said, okay, but if you do the pay-per-view, then we'll do it. And if you say no, then I don't know then. But will you at least do the pay-per-view? And if he says yes then you can find a way to write him off. Or if he doesn't do the pay-per-view, find a way to write him off. Say, oh, he suffered an injury while working out or something like that. I hope Malachi's in, I hope Malachi gets better, though. Because dealing with mental health is not a fun thing at all. Uh, Darby, Sting, and Miro are going to win. Um, because Miro will get a way to uh, get a win over Malachi. Because... The promos we've been leading up to this have been pretty damn good, despite the fact that I haven't really given a shit about the feud. Like, the House of Black concept was cool, but the execution has been piss poor. They, it feels like they are being treated like jokes. Speaking of treated like jokes, for the TV Championship, we have Athena versus Jade Cargill. Oh boy, be still my beating boner. Jade's probably going to win if Athena wins. Cool. I don't give a shit about this. Um, Jade, people saying Jade's gotten better. She couldn't have gotten worse. Athena's been true to, like, an afterthought. It feels like she, they completely cooled her off. Uh, Jade's most likely gonna win. Then we have Jungle Boy versus Christian Cage. One of the, one of the few matches I give a shit about because the feud's actually been pretty good. I'm gonna have Jungle Boy win, but if Luchasaurus is gonna show up, then Christian Cage is gonna win. And then Jungle Boy will eventually get his hands on, the. Uh, Christian at full gear because they haven't talked about Luchasaurus. He's either dealing with an injury or he's going to be uh, taking out Jungle Boy. So they can have Jungle Boy win, but to, I think if they're going to further the feud, they're going to have Christian win. Speaking of afterthoughts, FTR World Over vs. Jay Lethal and the Murder City Machine Guns. Um, They're going to have Warlow and FTR win. Warlow, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with him. The match should be fine. It's just that this match feels like a complete throwaway because FTR is the second ranked in their entire tag division, and yet they're not going after the tag titles for some reason. Jay Lethal's been completely cooled off. Warlow, they completely cooled them off. Like they start, 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 stop, start, stop with this motherfucker. This guy has a look, and he's athletic, and he's good in the ring. It's just they haven't featured him probably. They're, they were going to have him in the six-man tag with uh, Dutt, the big tall motherfucker, a.k.a. Sutton Singh. But they say, wait, that's not going to work because Sutton Singh's not that good. And, oh, cool to see the Mother City Machine Guns in the AEW ring. It's just that, will it matter? That's the thing. So, yeah, F FTR and Warlord are going to win. And the fact that Warlow is TNT champion and he feel like he has it is goddamn crime. Then we get the Casino Ladder match, because that's what we fucking needed on this show. Claudio versus Wheeler versus Penta versus Ray versus the Ray Phoenix versus Roosh versus Andrade El Idoli 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 Low versus Martin versus the Joker. It's going to be Joaquin Phoenix. No. Heath Ledger. No. Oh, God. That, that's a 
poor joke right there. Whoever the joker is, is going to win. There's no way any of these guys are winning. Dante could win, but I don't think that he is. Um, It could probably be Garcia. Uh, there's rumors that it's going to be Joe because Samoa Joe just got the wrapping up some filming he was doing. I kind of forgot he was the um, Ring of Honor TV champion. But I digress. It's going to be a car crash. And nobody would care. Whoever the joker is, is going to win. So many matches I don't care about. Turn to glory. Lee versus Strickland. Lee and Strickland versus the acclaimed Bowens and Cast for the tag titles. This feels like a rampage or a uh, dynamite match. Swerver, Swerver and the glory are going to win. Nothing against the acclaimed Bowens and Cast are fine. They're over as hell. I'll say that, but I don't care about this. Search for the Hobbs. This should be a damn good match. Um, if they're going to continue to feud, then Hobbs is going to win. But I think Starks is going to go over because they're going to push Starks to the fucking moon. Because that guy is charismatic as hell on the mic. Um, but yeah, they couldn't go with Hobbs to further the feud. But I think they might go, they might pick Ricky here. Pretty Ricky. Oh, Ricky, Ricky, you're so fine. What's up with that hairline? I kid, I kid, I kid. So then we get the trios tag title. Uh, tournament final. We have Paige in the Dark Order versus Omega in the Bucks. Be still my beating apathy. I don't give a fuck about this match. They brought back Omega way too soon. And I don't care. And Don Scarlet Fever Callus is going to be on commentary. So is Nakazawa. Because that's what we needed. No we don't. Fuck Nakazawa. And fuck Callus. Not because I was a person, just as a personality, he is fucking abysmal. If he even has a personality. The Bucks and Omega are going to win. I won't care. Moving on, let's talk about the main event. Punk versus Moxley for the world title. They're going to try to turn Mox, or they're going to try to turn Punk heel in Chicago. It's not going to work. Remember how they tried to do it with Austin at Mania 17? Look how that turned out in the end. And MJF's going to come back as the um, as the uh, anti-hero. Good fuck. God, this show's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. If, it, if it's good, it's good. But I'll watch it. But fuck, it's going to take forever. Thank God I'm off on Monday because I'm off on Labor Day. But fuck, that's going to take forever. But anyways... Let me know in the comment section below who you think is going to win, who you think the show is going to be. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, tap the little bell for more notifications. Throw in a heart. Excuse me, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.